Now we've got everything ready. Our plan is ready. Our actors are ready. We've got our location all scouted out and set up. We've got our tripod. What are we missing? Our camera. Usually in a video class, I would think we should talk about cameras first. But what did we talk about first? We talked about sound first. I'm emphasizing once again, the video is not the most important part. It's the sound that's most important, the audio. In fact, the video can be quite mm, average, mediocre, even poor, even low quality video. Just an image people can see, but it's the audio that really helps them understand what's happening, that explains things. Now, of course, if you're making a video and you want to use images to explain things, then there's certain things you can do and you need to pay attention to that. But in general, don't worry about your video camera too much. Let's begin with a basic rule. Don't try to use a camera you don't understand. That's kind of important. If you have an expensive camera, or your department has an expensive camera, or your friend or brother or sister has a high-end camera, and you borrow that camera, and you don't know how to use it, what are all these buttons? You push the wrong buttons and there's no way to get back. There's no way to know how to get just the video you need. That's the problem with those high-end cameras. They do a lot of things, but you don't need a lot of things. You just need to record your image. So, we've said from the beginning, maybe just a phone will work for you. Yes, that's true. But of course, something like an iPhone can give you an HD, a high definition image. But you don't need a high definition image. You can use a low definite definition image, which we used to call SD, standard deviation. Uh, standard definition, not deviation. I'm stuck on statistics. So standard definition and high definition, what's the difference? Well, my point is not a big difference. Sound is where the difference is. Now, of course, if you need to show something really clear on the screen, like text, where you need to have a screenshot, like my screenshot here, I need to use HD. If I don't use HD, the screen will not be clear. But if you're just showing people with a background, you maybe don't need that clear. So maybe your department has an old camera, but it's easy to use. Maybe someone in your family has a camera you can borrow, or even buy from them, or even just ask them to give you. There are so many video cameras around that people don't use anymore. You can take something like that. Maybe you have a video camera that records to tape, and maybe there's an output that can get that tape into your computer. There are many ways to do that. You just Google that on the internet and you'll find that. So my point is, don't worry about the camera. Here's what you should be doing with your camera. Feel comfortable with your camera. Use your camera, test your camera, figure out what every button is so you know how it works. Then when you go on location and your actors are ready, your group is ready, everything is set up, your sound is ready, you know how to work that camera. You know how to turn it on and get the image you want. Some cameras have some features or some usages that are very interesting and create some interesting shots. Go online and learn about those a little bit. Simplicity though is the key point. Do you know how to right now just press that button and record? Can you do that? Can you get a good image? Can you do that? If you can't do that, then it's not a good camera for you. So, summarize. Don't worry about the camera. Worry about your sound. All right, let's go off to the hardware table and see what we've got on the hardware today. All right, here we are at the hardware table, and of course, today we're looking at cameras. At the beginning of this course, we kind of quickly looked at cameras, just saying, hey, cameras are easy to find. They're everywhere these days. They used to be so hard to get. Now they're everywhere, even your phone is a camera, which is okay. Let me show you some other cameras here we've talked about a little bit. We've talked about these little kind of handheld video cameras. 
These are great. You probably your school, your department has one of these that you can borrow. They're okay. Nothing wrong with them. If you if you've bought them in the last four or five years, they're probably HD. They may have touch screens and all of these kinds of features. The key point here is you need to remember what the storage is. That is the card. Probably going to use an SD card. Make sure you get the right kind of SD card and make sure you have extra ones because when you go shooting you're going to use up the space very quickly and if you run out of SD cards you only took one but your video is only half shot what are you going to do? So be very careful about that. Make sure you have enough and make sure you have the right ones because my experience is that the different speeds match different cameras so the different specifications of SD card. Another important thing to remember is you cannot just buy an SD card and hope it works with your camera because these SD cards come in all different sizes right could be 30 gigabytes 100 gigabytes I think now you can even get them up to a terabyte the question is can your camera use it so you need to check the specification of the camera if you don't have the manual then go online and google it check it out it'll say something like maximum 16 gigabytes or maximum 32 that means if you buy a card bigger it won't work or maybe it'll work but it will only save that smaller amount of storage my experience is it usually just doesn't work you put it in and it says no card so this camera here is I think it's 32 gigabytes and I have a 32 big gigabyte card so now if I want to buy another card what do I do buy 32 again because I know this machine that's its maximum okay here's another kind of camera that is really great to use and you've maybe seen these before and these are these little GoPro cameras now this is not a GoPro GoPros are very expensive big brand name right this is one I got in China and it's a GoPro uh, copy right so in China you can get all those kinds of copies or knockoffs really really cheap and it even has a case you put it in just like the GoPro and you can put this on your helmet or you can put this on a tripod and these actually can film in HD even and give some really good pictures what they're really good for is attaching them to your body somewhere or on a bicycle or on a motorcycle and it gives you that really cool look of moving through space of traveling somewhere that's really neat or if you're doing some kind of sports people use these on their skateboards or or on their skiing trips really cool so these are little cameras you can use these of course the thing you need to be careful here is the SD card yes that's important but for these my experience is the battery the battery runs down very fast especially if you're shooting in the HD mode high quality high definition mode battery can run down very fast so you need to have extra batteries and guess what these do not take you know your regular batteries you can buy at the store that's a big disadvantage so when this runs out you need to have extra batteries ready and the charger needs to be ready and usually the charger needs to plug in somewhere so if you're out shooting on location yeah that's hard you need to buy more batteries and the batteries can be reasonable but you gotta spend the money right so that's a little bit of a problem be careful of course your digital cameras or your SLR cameras can take pretty good video sometimes these days and it usually will also be HD although you may be able to set it to be a lower quality SD what's the advantage of shooting with an SD uh, standard definition is that you may get more space you can shoot more also the file size will be smaller and that means that it's easier to work with okay the last thing I want to show is a classic camera now here's a camera I have mess here too many too much stuff on the hardware tape this is a Sony camera and this is a classic camera now if you look at this camera it looks like a kind of big camera and professional cameras often come in this kind of form factor and figure factor it's got a microphone up here but I never use this mic because remember even on a high-end machine like this that mic's not going to be very useful What's the big difference between this and between 
this using your phone, well, the biggest difference is right up front here, and that is the lens. You're gonna have a much better lens. So you're gonna get much better pictures in the way they look. You know, you've taken movies or videos with your cell phone, and sometimes they look really weird, right? It's like people's heads seem like the too big or, or the walls are not exactly straight. That's because that lens is distorting everything. These kinds of lenses, bigger is better. The reason I show this to you is because this is an old camera. This camera is from, are you ready? 1997. That's how old this camera is. I bought it second hand. Back in 1997, I couldn't afford it. No, it was too expensive. I bought it second hand many years later. Classic camera. Does not shoot HD, only shoots SD. But you know what? If I needed to use this, I'd be happy to use this because it takes great pictures, the shots look good, color's very good, and it's SD. But hey, don't forget, many people when they're watching their video are watching it on their cell phone. Does having HD really matter if they're watching it on a little tiny picture on their cell phone? So think of your audience. Remember, where will they be watching it? You can get a camera like this used or from someone who doesn't even want it anymore. I bet there's so many cameras like this lying around that are really good, have a good lens on them, can take good pictures, and you know what? The owner doesn't even want it. They'll probably throw it away someday. But if you can see it, someone in your family has one, grab it and you can use that. Okay, so that's the camera. I think the main point is relax. There's many options. And you know what? The most time you spend should be on your sound, not on your camera. So go out there and make a good video, get good sound, and take okay pictures, and you'll survive. Good luck.